Hey guys, so today I'm going to be starting my back to school series and what you're seeing right now is just me um, getting up and I'm not actually in school right now but this is just kind of like what I would be doing if I were in school. So I just wake up to an alarm. Why me? I just want to sleep. <sighs> so after I have dramatically woken up, uh, I'm just going to put on my glasses because I can't see very well without them. And I walk over to my shutters and I just open those up just to have some light. It's usually pretty bright when I wake up in the morning, so I like using light from outside. And then I'll leave my room and go to like to the bathroom and um, shower, wash my face, brush my teeth and all that stuff. And I would obviously change clothes if I showered, but for the sake of this video, I'm still in the same clothes. And then this isn't like my laptop specifically, it's like my family's laptop, but I'm the main person who uses it, so I keep it in my room. So I just turn on Pandora to listen to music while I'm getting ready. And then I just use a baby wipe um, just to get off any stubborn makeup that didn't come off when I washed my face or took my makeup off the night before. So baby wipes are actually really good for stubborn makeup, I don't know why. And I'm just taking some sunscreen and putting that on my face just to protect my face from the sun. And I'm just taking um, some lotion and putting that on my face as well to moisturize my skin because I have really dry skin. And I'm just taking this Blistex Medicaid Lip Balm. It has SPF 15, so it's going to protect and moisturize my lips. And I'm taking my e.l.f. eyelid primer just to make sure that my eyeshadow will stay on all day while I'm at school because you don't, you don't really want to be a reapplying eyeshadow. And I'm just taking this like yellowy gold color and putting this on my lids. This is perfect for every day where it's really neutral and it's just a perfect color to wear. And I'm taking this dark brown shade and applying this on like the outer V of my eye and in the crease to add some depth and just to kind of deepen my crease a little bit. And I'm just taking that same yellowish gold color on my finger and applying that to my brow bone as a highlight. I like using my finger because I feel like it blends out better. And now I'm going to take this red shade and apply this on my outer corner and then blend it a little bit into the crease. And now I'm taking a black pencil liner, which I really need to get a new one because it's so short. And I'm lining my eyes, winging it, winging it out, and then using my finger to smudge it. I just feel like the smudged look just looks better for school. It's not super harsh. And obviously the, this look is for if you have a little bit more time in the morning because you don't really want to be doing all this if you're in a rush. And now I'm just taking my Clump Crusher mascara and applying that on my lashes. And I'm taking a red CoverGirl gloss balm and just applying that to my lips. Now look number two is another look that is for if you have a little bit more time. And I'm just starting off with the same lip balm and eyelid primer. So anyway, I'm just taking this gold shade now. It's a shimmery gold. and just applying this on my lid. This is perfect for if you want something with a little bit more shimmer or if you just want something brighter for your day at school. And now I'm just taking this coppery color and this dark brown and applying that in my crease. I feel like the copper just kind of helps to warm up my eyes instead of just having the dark brown in the crease. And now I'm just taking my e.l.f. black liquid liner in, lining my eyes and winging it out. I'm starting with the wing and then making the line it just makes it easier for me and I'm taking my mascara and I'm only putting this on my outer lashes and it, like I said earlier it just opens up my eyes more and I decided to go for a more natural look for my lips since the eyes are a little bit more dramatic so I'm just taking my elf matte lip color in natural and applying that on top of the lip balm and for look number three this is if you have a little bit less time so I'm just starting off once again with my lip balm and primer and now I'm just taking this really light shade, and this is perfect if you don't have a lot of time because it's a really easy shade to just apply on your inner corner, all over your lid, and you can stop there. Or if you have a little bit more time, you can apply a dark brown and a red mixed together in the crease. And the red just adds a little bit more color, and it just helps the look come together a little bit more. So I also suggest getting things that blend really easily if you're in a rush. And I'm just lining my eyes with this black liner. I'm not winging it out because that takes a lot more time. So I'm just making a really thin line. I'm not really worried about it making it neat. And then I'm just putting on mascara, one coat. Because if you're in a rush, you really don't have time to 
do one coat and wait for it to dry. And I'm not doing anything for the lips. And that is it. You're set to go to school in one of these three looks. And obviously you don't have to be in high school. You can be working or in middle school, but I just felt these are more for high schoolers. And you probably want a school book instead of an encyclopedia of dogs. So remember, you are you, no one is yours than you, your beauty is yours and your beauty is personal, and enjoy the bloopers! Oh, look it! I've spotted a car in her natural habitat! Oh no, she's spotted me! I should probably run now! Ooh, chilling. She's looking at her phone, listening to whatever's on the computer. Wow. I can't believe we've really spotted a car in a natural habitat. Oh no, she's attacked! Ah! Ah!